Set and action. Hello, Neil. Who are you? I am the architect. I created the Matrix. Basically, it's a scene in which Neo meets the architect of the Matrix. It is a place that we've actually seen once before in the first movie, but only a little glimpse of it. It's implied that perhaps he was the one watching Neo during that interrogation. So here we are, back uh, in that place. Well, originally I went for a different part. I went, um, I was told they wanted somebody to play, um, I, I don't know who it was, it was a counselor, I think. I suddenly got a different script and was asked to read for this completely other part, um, which completely bamboozled me because, of course, I hadn't read the whole script. I only read the scenes that I was in, and I thought, what the hell is this? God slash devil, the father of the Matrix, he says. And I thought, wow, this is good. Um, yeah, I can do that. Um, I can do my cheap Orson Welles imitation and um, <laughs> get paid for it. <laughs> this will be the sixth time we have destroyed it. And we are exceedingly efficient at it. It's malevolent, not in a, not in a moral sense. It's, it's malevolent in a, oh, well, this formula doesn't work. Let's scrub it out and try something else. It's mathematical malevolence. We shot it over a three-day period. It was hell. <laughs> Um, mainly because I sort of spoke virtually non-stop and count every now and then I'd say a reaction that I had to kind of carry the scene in terms of the dialogue. Bullshit. Bullshit. It was Keanu who sort of translated for me what the brothers were trying to say, for which I will remain eternally grateful. So between the brothers and Keanu, they've taught me how to act in a way that I didn't understand before. The key was to kind of just wipe everything clean and just imagine that I was like a blank blackboard. And then it made sense. I expected the center of the matrix to be a mathematical formula, some sort of mathematical construct, not humanized. I was very surprised that it turned out to be a person. That was quicker than the others. Others? How many others? others. The whole belief system of being the one is shattered because I'm not the one, I'm the sixth one. So I learned that I don't know as much as I thought I did. And then there I'm given the choice of humanity or Trinity. It's funny that Neo just goes for Trinity. <laughs> Neo's representing this fundamental volition, choice, decision, purpose, mission. Fighting against all odds, but he's now confronted with the embodiment, the exemplar of the determinism and the nihilism and the architect. And having to make that choice, love on the one hand, the alternative on the other. I mean, this is uh, <clears throat> it's rich, it's rich. But it's that whole thing of choice and that whole thing of, you know, I don't, I don't believe everything I hear. And I don't think that ev what everyone says to me is the truth, or it has to be the truth. That was a, a complicated scene which was completely shot, uh, surrounded by a blue screen. Uh, and then he has a bunch of monitors all around him, like hundreds and hundreds of monitors. The uh, images inside the monitors, of course, we're going to shoot, but they'll be shot in a you know, fairly unique way so that we can do uh, tricks of uh, perspective uh, on Neo, the Neos in the monitors. Some basic uh, camera feedback loops where we can travel from the center of the environment here through monitors back into the environment and out again if we choose. It's really like a uh, limitless number of possibilities how you could actually go in and out of the space, particularly when everything that surrounds you is computer graphics to start with, so you can do interesting things. The assignments we had for littering the screens in the background really had to do with the folly of man. We just figured it was the short history of recorded images, so we took from newsreel, World War I or II through you know, contemporary time, the sort of leaders and events that the audience that was watching The Matrix would be familiar with. We had leaders of all different sorts, not necessarily always evil, just those that seemed to have an effect in world order through the uh, 20th century. And it was just a hyper-informational delivery 
Uh, that really didn't matter if you really saw everything. It was really just about the architect's access to an infinity of information related to Neo's, you know, consciousness of who he was. Trinity. First was the folly of man, and then it became Neo's folly and his preoccupation with Trinity and saving her and the folly of an unreal life, a constructed life that he never led and the fact that every moment of his life was a construction of the architect or the machinery of the matrix and so he was demonstrating I suppose to Neo that it was all an elaborate fabrication to break his will I suppose. When Neo has problems with uh, deciding which way he will choose, there's a certain level of, uh, you know, multiple personalities and responses from multiple personalities reacting to the architect's questions. So that one way of visualizing that might be with just more individualized Neos. The the one entity is being splintered so that his internal world is becoming externalized. Right. So it's all about different aspects of his selfhood. I can say whatever I fucking want. I can say whatever I want! I can say whatever I fucking, 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 fucking want! You old white prick! You old white prick! I'll smash this place to bits! See the whole place? Like, I'll smash this place to bits! I'll smash this place to bits! I'll smash this place to fucking bits! I'll smash this place to fucking bits! You can't control me! You can't control me! You can't control me! You're dead! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Fucking kill you! You're fucking dead! Fuck you! And One of the only times you'll ever get to improv for Wachowskis. I know. I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Did you see how happy the Keanu the actor got? <laughs> whoa. Yeah, let's get whoa. <laughs> for you guys, I'll do whoa well, with my pants on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey there, here's today's daily fact. Now the matrix code comes from sushi. That's right. Those complex looking green digits scrolling down the screen in the matrix may look like mysterious code, but in fact they were symbols from a sushi cookbook scanned by the movie's production designer. Hmm. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content or on the side for another video.